Hey guys and all. So a couple of things. First is that yes, my hair is kind of brown now. I think on camera it reads a little bit redder than it is in real life, which is perfectly fine with me. I was intending to dye it red and somehow it turned out brown. Gotta love hair dyeing, but uh, you know, I don't totally hate it, so I'm gonna probably leave it like this for a few days and... Eh, whatever. Anyway, on with the purpose of this video. Uh, I am on a beauty website called Beautylish, and for those of you who are just trying to get started in the beauty community, you need to know about this website. It's sort of like Facebook for makeup people kind of thing. Uh, you have a profile, you can post photos, you can post uh, reviews, they have this whole, like, network bloggy kind of thing. It's like a blog with Facebook. I don't know how to explain it, but it's a really cool website. And it's a great way for people to get their name out there and be able to post reviews and other people will see them. They feature people who are super popular and people who are not so popular. So I think everyone is like an equal opportunity kind of thing. And it's just a great way to find other people who are also interested in beauty. Uh, I have a photograph on beauty. Oh gosh. I'm having a hard time talking, guys. I don't know if you can tell I'm sick. Anyway, so on Beautylish, I have a photograph of me wearing these lips, which is uh, 3D silver glitter. Ooh, 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 let's just... Oh, crap. I just dumped it everywhere. Oh, it's still falling. Great. Okay, so anyway, I'm on this website called Beautylish. I have this photograph on my profile, and it is of me wearing these glittery lips. And uh, it's one of my most popular photos. I get lots and lots of comments on it, and a lot of people have actually requested a how-to video or something like that, or just explaining how I did it. So I figured, why not? I think that's pretty much it. My hair is brown, uh, temporarily probably, but nevertheless, enjoy. Um, I'm sick, kind of sucky. That's kind of why there hasn't been a video in almost two weeks. And, um, glittery lips, who doesn't love that? So if you want to learn how I created this glittery lip and neutral eye look, then let's get started. So we're going to start this out with an eyeshadow primer. This is Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Now I'm going to use Wedge Eyeshadow. This is just a sort of background color that I use sometimes to deepen my crease and make it look a little more pushed back. And I'm using that with a Sigma E45 brush. This is a very small tapered crease brush. And we're just going to rock that right, right, we're going to rock it right in our socket line. Anyway, you get the drist, the drist. This is what cold medicine does to a person. As we get to the outer edge, you just really want to soft it up, soften it up. Oh, boy. This is going to be a fun tutorial, let me tell you. So to soften that outer edge, I'm just taking a much fluffier, a little bit slightly denser brush. This is an E... 35. We're just taking that again just above the crease just to soften the line. Now if you want you could also make sure that the inner corner is well represented with the uh, background crease color. The background crease color. <laughs> Alright now for the lid I want something that's sort of pink, sort of gold, sort of peach, sort of you know, that kind of thing. There's a million grillion colors out there in the world that represent that kind of idea. I'm going to use Urban Decay. Uh, my friend Kelly of Vampy Varnish, she recently did a post on the Urban Decay Deluxe palette. And when I saw it, I'm like, oh my god, I have that and I never use it. What the heck? Anywho, I'm going to use Scratch and Shag together. So just, you know, dip into them both until you have a, a mixture that you're happy with. And I'm going to pop that on the lower part of my eyelid. And I'm using the E55 from Sigma. The, all these brushes are from the uh, Extravaganza collection. Which, I know you guys want to know my opinion or a review or something. It's very, very expensive, but the brushes are really quite nice at the same time. And that's all I can really say for now, because I've only had them for a couple weeks. So I haven't really gotten a chance to uh, form a final review opinion of them. And I applied that a little bit into the crease. And then I'm going to take my crease brush and just blend it out. Make sure everything's nice and seamless and working together and everybody's... I don't know. I just got into my drawer to grab my highlight palette and I realized that you totally could have just used the Urban Decay Naked palette. Instead of using Wedge, you could have used Buck. Instead of the like mixture I did on the, my eyes, you could have used Sin, although this would have been a little bit lighter than what I did. But uh, FYI, if you have this, you could use it. For highlight, I'm going to use the E50 from Sigma, which is their large fluff brush. And I'm going to go to Old Faithful, as I like to refer to it, uh, Blanc Type, all up on that brush. All up on the brush. I would like to reiterate that I am on cold medicine, so this is my Sudafed mind, I guess. Okay, I'm a goober every day, but you know, I, I'm trying to make excuses to make myself feel better. This is my, I'm trying to decide what to do with eyeliner face. 
Since I have my Urban Decay palette out, might as well just use one of those colors as a liner since I don't want to do anything too crazy on the eyes. I'm trying to keep it super neutral, so I'm taking MAC Fix Plus and the Sigma E15, which is their flat shader brush, or liner brush rather. And I'm just going to take it into one little corner of Dark Horse. When you, Whenever you use an eyeshadow wet, it can kind of create a crust and sort of ruin the eyeshadow for being applied dry. So I just want to use it in just one little corner. And then line it out. Sort of walk that across the lash line. It doesn't have to be precise or anything. In fact, for this kind of soft look, the the smudgier the better. Alright, and then we have Fallout, so let's go ahead and take care of that with a big powder brush. Mascara. Max Hot and Naughty. And there we have it, the eyes are finished. It's a fairly simple eye look, but that's exactly what we want because there's going to be a lot of drama on the lips. Okay, so I started out by applying Max Prep and Prime Lip Primer. This is the best lip primer I've ever found. I've never found any that really does a good job of moisturizing my lips and then actually locking on whatever I put on. So, uh... If any of you have found one that's great, please let me know. Now we need a glossy base for the glitter to stick to. So you could use completely clear gloss, you could use one that has a little bit of glitter in it. I'm going to use one that does have a little bit of glitter in it. This gloss is from Hard Candy, it's called Glossaholic Chill Out. It's the vanilla scent, they have another one with a different scent. Uh, I just thought this would be the most pleasant for me. And it has a really big, really big doe foot applicator, it's like jumbo size. So be very careful and try to keep this just within the lines of your lip. So now for the fun part, we're going to take MAC 3D Silver Glitter. Now lots and lots of companies make these kind of reflective silver rainbow in a bottle kinds of glitter. So whatever brand of glitter appeals to you or you have on hand is totally fine. This is just what I have. So I'm going to take off the cap. It's glitter time. And I'm going to stick my finger in, tap it off, and merely press it into my lips. No, this is my own personal glitter, so this isn't like the most sanitary way to do it. You could also dish them out to yourself. Alright, now to remove the excess glitter Try to use the powder brush method. So that worked pretty well. You could also take a piece of tape and press it on the skin where there's excess um, glitter, but this is working pretty well. One final thing here at the end, guys. A couple things you don't want to do is press your lips together because then it looks like this. It's kind of ruined all the hard work, so don't do that, especially since the gloss tends to dull out the effect of the glitter and then you just have glittery junk on your lips. Also then you get, as you can see, uh, glitter on your teeth. Not really the best thing in the world. Um, furthermore, I do not recommend actually drinking from a cup like this for what I think should be fairly obvious reasons. Uh, you want to use a straw. And then the last thing is of course actually removing it. I recommend using scotch tape. Takes it off pretty effectively. And just, oh, I got glitter in my mouth. Just use it as many times as you need to until you have the bulk of the glitter off. <laughs> if you're laughing at home, it's cool. It's kind of silly looking. And then you're going to want to put a load of lip balm on your lips because, ow, tape on the lips doesn't really feel so good. I definitely challenge you all to try this out because it's really fun, fairly easy to do, I think. And, um, you know, it's just, just kind of having fun with makeup and that's the whole point, right? So anyway, have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember to be vintage or tacky. Just be yourself. Bye.